What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video, before I give you this advice, let me give you a warning. You would be better off jerking off with sandpaper than you would be taking this advice that I'm going to give you in this video. I'm going to tell you how to get into a relationship with a stripper, with a working girl, with a girl that maybe works at the Hong Kong Club or the Adelita Bar, maybe with a stripper that works in Tootsie's in Miami, okay? I'm going to tell you how to get into a relationship with those girls and it's really easy. I do not recommend it, okay? Like I said, you'd be better off petting a rattlesnake than you would be jumping into a relationship with one of these girls. But since you guys are here, since you guys asked me in my live chat to do this video, I'm going to do it for you. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. And let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, it's actually really easy. To get into a relationship with a girl that's working at a strip club, all you have to do is get her to see you differently than she sees every other man there. See, she's there working. She sees every man there as customers. She's there for one reason, and that's for money. She's there to extort, lie, manipulate. She's there to do whatever it takes to make money. So all you have to do to stand out, to draw attention, to be intriguing to her, is not be a customer, okay? You gotta break that barrier. She can't see you as a customer. She's got to see you as a friend, as a normal person. And that's super easy to do. Let me tell you how to do it. See guys, when you walk into the strip club or the Adelita bar, or the Hong Kong club, wherever you're going and you sit down, one of these girls, several of these girls will approach you and they're going to ask if you want a table dance, if you want to go upstairs, if you want to spend time in a private room, okay? Customers say yes. You're going to say no because you're not a customer, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to tell this girl, hey, look, check this out. I'm not into going upstairs and all that. I'm just here to kind of drink and relax. But if you want to sit down and have a couple drinks with me, I'd be game for that. Okay, so she's going to sit down. She's going to have a couple drinks with you. Guys, very important. Number one rule, make sure she's ordering a real drink. Make sure the alcohol is flowing, okay? If you're going to be paying eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars $11 per drink, she needs to be drinking a real drink, not apple juice, not orange juice. Rule number two, very important. You've got to get her real name, okay? Her name is not Destiny. Her name is not Star. Her name is not Cassandra, okay? Her name is not Mercedes. All these strippers seem to have the same names. Guys, check this out. Her real name is probably Maria, Alejandra, Jennifer, Okay, something like that. You got to get her real name, guys. If you can't get her real name, forget it. Tell her, get up, leave, go find another one, okay? If she's not willing to have real drinks with you, forget it. Tell her, get up, leave, go find another one. Okay, guys, so assuming things are going right, we got her real name and we've got her sitting down drinking drinks with you. Now, be sure that she's not continuing to ask things like, can we go upstairs do you want a private dance? Will you buy my friend a shot? Can I invite my girlfriend over here? Will you buy a, a shot from the waiter? Guys, if she continues to work you, tell her to kick rocks and kick her out, okay? What you want is a girl that's sitting down, having a conversation with you, you've got her name, and she's drinking, and you guys are having a mutual conversation about whatever. Okay, guys, number three, very important. If you're gonna have any action outside the bar and you're not gonna be a customer, you have to establish communication outside the bar. Meaning, get her Facebook, get her WhatsApp, get her phone number. Find a way to communicate with her outside the bar. Now, if you get all this going, you're rocking and rolling. You're kicking ass and taking names. Because guess what, guys? Customers don't have her real name. Customers don't have her Facebook account, okay? Customers are paying money for services. You're not doing any of this. You're kicking ass and taking names. And guys, let me tell you something. As beautiful as these girls are, they're there for a reason, okay? They all have low self-esteem, just like most women do, okay? And they're used to being treated like shit and degraded by a man constantly, okay? They're used to dealing with customers every day. So if you can get in there and just be nice and buy them some drinks and get their information and be nice to her, you're, you're doing great. And she's going to actually respect the fact and like the fact that you're not paying her to go upstairs. Okay. All right, guys. 
let's say this happens. Let's say you get out of there with her information and you start paying, no, excuse me. Let's say you get out of there with her information and you get a date with her. You go to Giuseppe's or you're taking her to the beach, something like that. In this case, guys, it's probably best that you stop going to the club, okay? Because unless you're a real pro, it's going to really bother you to see your girl going upstairs with other guys, going to the private room with other guys, okay? So if you want to get her out of that club completely, you need to be able to pay all of her expenses. Remember, she's there for money. And now all of a sudden you want to take her out of there? Well, then you need to be able to cover all her expenses. And it's not going to be just her expenses either. It's going to be her expenses, the parents' expenses, the sorry-ass brother that doesn't work, his expenses, the other brother that's in jail sending him money, the sister that has six kids. It's going to be a slew of people that she's paying for. Guaranteed, guys. And remember, if you start this process, you need to start out like you can hold out. See, women only operate going up, leveling off, and going up with the money. If you start out spending three or $400 a week on her, you're not going to be able to cut back after a month to $200 a week. That isn't going to work. Guys, remember, the only way you're going to get her out of that bar is with money. If she's got any love in her heart at all, the money will bring it out. Here's something else, guys. All these girls talk. They're all Facebook friends, they're all Twitter friends, they all text. If you're getting some action from this girl for free outside of the bar, do not go in there when she's not working. Let's say she works day shift. Don't go in there at night and take another girl upstairs. You're going to get caught. It's going to ruin everything. You're going to embarrass her in front of her girlfriends, and it's going to be over. Now, in the middle of this video, let me tell you this, guys. And I've said it before in my live chats. Remember, the cheapest, best way to go to Zona Norte is not to be Captain save -a okay? The cheapest, best way to go to Zona Norte is to walk in to, let's say, the Adelita Bar or the Chicago Club, walk up to the hottest girl there, pay her to go upstairs, do what you have to do, and leave. Don't buy her any drinks. Don't talk to her. Don't play mind games. Don't get her Facebook. Nothing. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Hit it, quit it, smash, dash. That's the fastest, best way. But if you don't want to do that, guys, I just told you how to do it. You got to break the barrier. She's got to see you as something other than a customer. If I haven't said this before, I did another video a couple of years ago called, in, called Dating a Stripper, The Rules. You guys need to watch that video. There's a lot of good information in that one, too. This is pretty much a remake of that video. There is another way, guys, I want to talk about. I do not recommend this, but like I've said before, if she's got any love in her heart at all, money will bring it out. And remember, guys, she's not there because someone held a gun to her head and made her go to work. She's there because she wants to be there. The other way, guys, is just straight up lead with your wallet, okay? She's on stage. Go up there. Hand her a $50 bill or a $100 bill, something just crazy. Say, hey, come talk to me. Take her upstairs and just say, hey, look, I'm loaded. I can buy you Chanel sunglasses. I can take you on a trip to Cancun. I can do this, 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 and this. Guaranteed she's going to come around. Now, I don't recommend doing that. I personally couldn't afford it. Um, see, I don't have a heart. Hearts are very expensive, and I can't afford one. So I'm just telling you right now, that is another way of doing it. But I assume that most of my subscribers watching this video don't have that kind of bankroll. If they did, they would know that that works and they wouldn't be watching this video because they would already know the option that works for them. All right, guys, I've explained it to you. Remember, guys, don't pay her for services. And if you ever have paid her for services, okay, if you accidentally went in there and you paid her to go upstairs and then a week or two later you caught some feelings and you want to talk to her, forget it. It's over, guys. You screwed up. The good news is there's a 100 other hot girls in this bar, okay? But you screwed up with her. She will always see you as a customer. You will never get anything free. And you're setting yourself up for manipulation, mind games, torture, psychological torture, okay? All right, guys. Any questions you got, let me know. Smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching the video. I left a link down below to my other video called Dating a Stripper, The Rules. It's pretty much a remake of this video I did two years ago. But you'll pick up a couple good details there, guys. Anyways, take it easy, be cool, and remember, don't do what I do. 
do what I say do, and you would be better off petting a rattlesnake or jerking off with sandpaper rather than getting in a relationship with one of these girls. But hey, to each his own. It takes all kinds. We'll see you, boys.